Me back again. Mm-hmm. A very, very long time ago, I lost respect for humanity. If you haven't already lost respect for humanity, I believe you will after this video. I mean, I probably lost respect for humanity when I realised people lose their fucking minds over celebrities. Like, I've seen videos where they have faked a celebrity in public and random people are coming up to this fake celebrity. So, a random guy, normal guy, coming up to this fake celebrity, say, oh, my God, man, yeah, man, I remember that movie that he done. Oh, he's just the greatest person, man. I'm so glad to have met. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. People lose their fucking minds. I remember there's people running down the road to get a picture with this celebrity. They don't even know this guy's name, fam. What are you doing, blood? But this, this will definitely make you lose respect for humanity and that. Let's get into it. It's a quick video as well. It's only like a minute 34. Making headlines by the chain pale experiment making headlines by the chain Payless Shoes. They held a grand opening of a luxury store with a different name but the same shoes and charged hundreds more for those same shoes. Customers paid. Here's ABC's Kana Whitworth. Behold, Palessi. We built a fake luxury store in Los Angeles and filled it with Payless Shoes. The guests at our grand opening party had no idea. Guests invited to check out what looked like a luxury shoe shop. They're elegant, sophisticated. I just think it's so classy. And I could tell it was made with high quality material. A $35 shoe going for $645, an 1800% markup. Store owners sat on their heels as fashion influencers emptied their wallets. I would pay 400, 500, yeah. People are gonna be like, oh, where'd you get those? Those are amazing. Then they're let in on the prank. These are actually from Payless. You've got to be kidding me. Shut up. Are you serious? But those shoppers were refunded their money and they got to keep the shoes. David Payless calling it a provocative social experiment designed to challenge today's image conscious culture. Either way, it was an effective PR stunt. Yeah, David. clearly a marketing ploy, but they paid. Kena, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more- Do you know what that reminds me of? Sketches, Balenciaga. Balenciagas are some of the most ugliest pieces of trainers I've ever seen in my life. But because it says Balenciaga, everyone goes crazy. I'm telling you, if Balenciaga done a collaboration with Skechers, imagine Skechers had another pair of trainers that was about to come out or whatever, really, and Balenciaga said, ah, let's put Balenciaga instead of the Skechers side. I'm telling you, those trainers would retail from £80, go straight up to seven, £800. Crazy blood. How the fuck can a label change your mindset on whether or not you should buy this pair of trainer blood like do you think i would ever spend 800 a thousand pounds on a pair of fucking trainers do you know what i've never done it before maybe one time in my life but i'm not i'm not going to have a collection of a thousand pound trainers in my wardrobe or my shoe rack like this fashion thing has got people so influenced in that and so deluded i've had man Man tell me, oh, I got a wardrobe full of 20 grand, you know. Blood, you have no property, fam. You're living in the council house, but what are you talking about? What are you bragging about? You're moving like a gyal. Funny enough, Myron from the Fresh and Fit, he said, oh, you would never... Eat. So Myron obviously is a man. He said to the women, you would never look at me as a masculine man if I told you and bragged about my... Uh, wardrobe collection how expensive my wardrobe is and i actually know someone who's bragging about they got a wardrobe worth twenty thousand pounds my wardrobe upstairs i mean i've got about <laughs> eight 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 jy's jackets and some other jackets in that i mean my wardrobe might come up to about two thousand pounds probably less i've got i've got quite a lot of suits as well that i never wear Let's say my wardrobe comes up to three thousand pounds and that. Some people will look. Oh, that's one of my jackets and that. Hold on, pussy. Oh. This house here, I put down thirteen thousand six hundred. 
My flat around the corner, I put 26 grand down. So we're basically at the 40,000 pound mark. My flat around the corner, from the flat around the corner, I put down just over 30 grand, I think 30,000, 31,250, I think. Anyway, we're at 70,000 pounds. There's no comparison. You cannot compare a fucking 20 grand wardrobe to 70,000 pounds worth of deposit I put down on property. It's funny as well, people can go around bragging about their wardrobe and that, but God forbid, how dare you brag about how your property has gone up from 136,000, yeah? 136,000, yeah? 136,000, yeah? To 210 grand. I got the property evaluated the other day, come back as 210 grand. You don't see me, I'm, I'm, not, like, I'm not saying someone else was saying this, but what, uh, or shouting about it on Instagram and that, but it's funny. People can get away with, and it doesn't look like people are boasting when they got a twenty. When they're talking about they got a twenty grand, their wardrobe is worth twenty grand. But if you started saying, "Oh yeah, my property is worth uh, two hundred and ten grand now," it's gone up from one hundred and thirty six and that. Like, it will see, it will be seen as you're bragging and that. But yeah, I just lost respect from human for, for human beings and humanity a very long time ago. When I see them fake videos where people are running after celebrities and that, and that just reaffirmed my mindset back then as well, because I've I never worshipped celebrities. Obviously, you might have that one celebrity, like, yeah, you get me, you rate them and that, but to be running down the street and that, come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, let me get your autograph and that, blood. I'll slap my fucking son in his head if he ever, ever started worshipping some celebrity, blood. Someone that don't give a fuck about you. Yeah? I'm not saying you can't have people that, you get me, you respect and you look up to, innit, but... Especially if it's some rapper or something, isn't it? Respect man that's giving out good advice. Respect man that's changing people's lives and that. These rappers don't give a fuck about none of you lot. They just want you to keep your head bopping. That's it. That's it. They don't care about changing people's lives. And all these rappers, they don't drop no gems. They don't tell no one that's... They don't... You've got people, yeah, who are just motivational speakers. They've influenced more people to get on the right path and make something of themselves than a rapper that's got a big, far, wide reach. You get me? So, yeah, man, I just don't respect these rappers, man. But anyway, man, that's it for today. Look a short, quick one. Stay away. Done, though.